Hey guys, welcome back to the Everything Tech channel, bringing you the world of technology. And today we're going to be bringing you a small tutorial on how to create a bootable USB media. Now, first of all, you do need a, a hard disk. You could use a hard drive if you want, a portable hard drive, but a USB will work just fine, as long as it is bigger than 4 gigs. So an 8 gigabyte will work, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on and so forth will work. So first of all, you need to go to the App Store and download the latest version of Yosemite which is right here once you have that downloaded you want to go to the linked page that I'll be giving you guys and here I have it in my histories I'll be I'll be showing you guys it's from beta, beta news so you it shows you how to create the USB media so if I, in case I don't get to you properly you guys you can always go here and just what you need to do is copy and paste this here sudo uh, don't do the no interaction. You just want to do the, the Yosemite.app. That's it. Once you have that done, you want to go into Disk Utility by by going to your loop. Disk Utility. Hit the 15.93 gigabytes Apple SDXC. This is where I am um, doing a 16 gig. So we're going to be calling it Yosemite for the purpose of this video. So Yosemite, make sure it's Mac OS Extended Journal. Yours is going to be MSDOS FAT. That's the standard, so Mac OS, X, OS Extended Journal. Erase, are you sure you want to erase? If it's a fresh uh, USB you just bought, you don't have to worry about anything. So, But if you have your cat pictures on here, you want to back those up accordingly before you hit erase. So, assuming that I got my cat pictures off my hard drive and my flash drive, just hit erase, it unmounts the drive, begins to partition it properly, and before you know it, it'll be ready. So, our drive is complete, it's done, so we want to go ahead and close this. I'm going to open my terminal. Here I already have it open, so all I have to do is just right click, new window, and I, what I want to do is paste what I just copied uh, from the internet. I will have that in the link in the description for that, so in case you do need it, you hit enter. Ready to start. Do you To continue, we need to erase your disk volume Yosemite. Type yes. Erasing disk is going to go through this process. We'll be back once it's complete. All right, my installation is complete. So the process is, if you wish to continue, type yes. So it erases your disk completely, renames it, install OSX Yosemite, and it copies the installer files to disk. That means that it gets the whole installer and puts it on your USB disk. Now, that's why you need a drive bigger than four gigabytes because the installer is actually around, the installer is actually around five gigs. And once it's done completing, it says copy complete, making disk bootable. This is uh, important because then you won't be able to boot your disk and it copies boot files, copy complete, once it's finished this is what you see. It takes a while, uh, it took me about uh, 20 minutes because my computer is running a hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive. If you're running a solid state drive it's going to be relatively faster as I noted with my MacBook Pro that does run an SSD and so yeah the speed it, that it copies it varies based on the hard drive not processor, not how much RAM you have, it's actually the hard drive. So if your hard drive is good, it's going to copy faster. Once it's done, all you have to do is just have your, your USB plugged in. Here I have it. Have it plugged in and restart your computer. I'm not going to restart because I won't be able to record it. So once you restart, you want to hit the option button as soon as you, as soon as the first uh, sound pops up, the the ever so popular Apple boot sound. Once that, that sound comes out, you hit the option button and you're going to be presented with several different drives. Probably your main drive, a recovery drive, and the install OS X Yosemite drive we just created. Just click on install OS X Yosemite and go through the process, that, the installation process. It should be easy. Apple does it so it's easy and I hope this video helps. Thank you.